Hi, I'm Ajit Khan. Are you looking forward for a CK exam? Are you confused what to study for or how to prepare for it? Then this video is for you. I am AWS certified solution architect and CK certified recently. Hence, I can provide you a quick guide on how to prepare for CK exam. I have recently given the exam, so I know what kind of pattern it is and what exactly the questions are there in re-attempt if you are trying for a re-attempt and what should be your strategy while giving the exam. So this is a must watch for you. If you are soon going to give the exam so let's see so particularly in this video i am going to focus on imperative commands that can really help you in the actual exam first of all let us understand what ck exam is so ck exam stands for certified kubernetes administrator and the program provides assurance that the ck have required skills knowledge and competency to perform the responsibility of kubernetes administrator so if you have cleared this exam this will prove that you can administrator and manage a Kubernetes cluster. Now let us discuss what the exam pattern looks like. It is an online exam and it is proctored. That means somebody will be there who will be monitoring you for two hours. That is the duration of the exam. And it is performance based. That means you will be given questions. And if you are able to attempt 50% of it or able to solve 50% of it, you will be given that much percentage of marks and it is a command line task exam you will be given scenarios and you need to solve that scenario or implement that scenarios the number of hours is two that means you need to solve those 17 questions in two hours you will get two attempts that means in your first attempt if you fail you will get another attempt which you can claim within a year of purchase of exam now in this video i am particularly going to focus on imperative way of following the questions but before that, let us discuss what are the two ways that is imperative and declarative ways of doing questions or running the commands. So imperative configuration involves creating Kubernetes resources directly at the command line against Kubernetes cluster. You will be running certain commands by giving certain options and parameters and the resource will get created. And in declarative configuration, what you generally do is you write a YML file or in a file, you provide all the resources that you want to have. And when you run that file, when it is creates those objects and resources for you. So that's declarative approach. Now let us discuss the imperative commands that you can use the exam. I will be using certain example, but let us see those example. Don't worry, we will do a demo as well of these commands. For example, there could be a scenario to create a pod with image nginx. Now you don't need to write IML file for this. You can simply run a command kubectl run hyphen hyphen image equals to nginx nginx so this will create a pod with image nginx and the name of the pod will be nginx this will create yml manifest and everything if there is a scenario like create a deployment with image nginx then you can write the command kubectl create deployment hyphen hyphen image equals to nginx and the name of the deployment that is nginx we have seen two commands here kubectl run and kubectl create whenever you are asked to create pod use run command and whenever you ask to create a deployment use create command so this is the difference between the two. There could be a scenario to scale a deployment. For this, you simply need to run this command kubectl scale deployment nginx hyphen hyphen replicas equals to five. If, if the deployment has replicas two before, it will be set to five now and the number of pod will increase. So this is how you can scale a deployment. Now let us talk how the declarative configuration looks like. Sometimes you might need to create a declarative configuration or you know, you might need to write a YML file. This is how it looks like in which you can specify the API version, then the kind of the object that you want to create. Then you have metadata, labels and apps, selectors, templates, then in container section, you have nginx, image name and so on. So this is how a declarative configuration looks like. And once this file is created and suppose the name of this file is nginx.yml, you can simply run or create this using the command kubectl apply hyphen f nginx.yml and this will create the deployment for you. For CK exam, we should stick to imperative command because this saves a lot of time. Trust me, you have to complete 17 question, uh, not necessarily complete, but you have to attempt as many as possible, at least 12, 13 questions to get it through. So imperative command is the way that will be really helpful for you complete the exam within time. So this is comparative command cheat sheet. There is a scenario called create a pod yml file without actually creating the pod object so this is how you can do it kubectl run nginx image nginx dry run client y hyphen o yml so here we are creating a pod named nginx with image nginx and uh, we are using option dry run client that means it is not actually going to create it right away and it will simply generate a yml for you 
So hyphen O YML option is generating this pod definition in YML format and simply showing you on the screen. It is not actually going to create the pod for you. So you can just take it with this operator. You can take it in a YML file. So I'm just running this command and using this operator i'm writing it in nginx.yml and if you get the content of it it will generate this yml syntax for you so you don't need to write all these syntax on your own kubectl will do it for you and once this file is created if you want to edit anything within this you can do it otherwise you can simply apply it that's one scenario there could be more scenarios which we have already discussed creating a pod creating a deployment and creating a deployment over a specific port you can create a service using expose command you can expose a deployment named nginx over port 80 so this is how you can do it with this simple command you should practice all these commands as much as possible because you should remember this syntax otherwise you can use hyphen hyphen help option there might be a question to scale a deployment so you can simply use kubectl scale deployment name of the deployment and set the replicas to whatever the desired replicas are you might need to edit an existing deployment in this case you will need to edit yml file so you can run the command kubectl edit deployment nginx this will open up a vim editor for you and you can edit whatever changes you want to make and just save it and it will be done there might be a question to replace a image in a deployment so you can just run this command kubectl set image deployment nginx and the container name nginx equals to the image so this is how you can change a image in the deployment now it's time for a demo so you can make use of killer coda this is a website where you can practice kubernetes related commands you can go on it and you can have playgrounds so click on playgrounds or you specifically work in a playground for cks cks so this is really useful website it is an alternative of katakoda so you can use make use of this killer shell cka this scenario can be used for standalone cka preparation and that there, there are playgrounds which you can use if you click on playground it will ask you to sign up and it's free for you you can simply sign in with github or gitlab your email i'm simply signing with my email you will receive a confirmation email once you are logged in you need to simply agree with the terms and condition and click on save and then you can start the playground it will open up a control plane where you can run kubernetes related commands and this playground will always have the same version as currently in the linux foundation exam so uh, this will have the same version of kubernetes you can click on scenarios and it will take you to different scenarios in this terminal you can run kubectl related commands so kubectl get nodes and it will show you the nodes so there are two nodes control plane and the worker node and if you do kubectl get all so currently there is one service running which is of type cluster ip there could be a scenario create a pod web app with image redis alpine so you just need to run kubectl run web app hyphen hyphen image redis alpine and use the option dry run client hyphen o yml and redirect the output to a yml file so this will create a web app.yml file and here in this you can edit the file if you want to have more changes within this or you want to add more options to it you can do this here else you can simply save this file and once you are satisfied editing this file you can simply apply this file with the help of command kubectl apply hyphen f web app.yml and this will create the pod for you you can run kubectl get pods and as you can see the container is in creating state so this scenario is done Next scenario is to create a deployment name sample with replicas too. And we will again use imperative commands because that will save our time. Next scenario is to create a deployment sample with replicas too and image nginx latest. We will again use kubectl create command. And here we are using create because we want to create a deployment not just to run a pod. To run a pod we use run command so we are using kubectl create deployment sample hyphen hyphen image equals to nginx latest and here we want two replicas of it so we will use the option hyphen hyphen replicas equals to two and again we will use try run option because we don't want to actually execute it we will take the output in yml format and we'll save it in a file let's call this file sample.yml and i am going to apply it later on i just want to show you with vim editor how the file looks like so this is a deployment and the name of this is sample and here replicas is set to two that means there will be two parts of it running and the image is nginx latest we will save this file and we'll simply apply it with kubectl apply hyphen f sample.yml and this will create deployment for us and if we do kubectl get all we will see that there are two parts of it running and there is a web app running which we created a couple of minutes ago 
and you are allowed to go to the documentation so just search for cheat sheet in when it is documentation and you will get all these commands handy with respect to getting all the resources or creating the resources or patching a pod editing a pod or editing any sort of resources so we'll get every sort of command here and this is really helpful next scenario is to scale the replica to three for sample deployment so the deployment we just created having two pods now and we want to scale it to three so we can do it with this scale command which we can find here in kubernetes cheat sheet and i'm just going to scale it with the command kubectl scale hyphen hyphen replicas equals to three and deployment dash name of the deployment that is sample so I'm just checking what's there in the documentation and I'm just following that. So it is not taking that much of time. Once you hit enter, it will simply scale the pod to three. Let us see if it is scaled up. So kubectl get pods or you can just run kubectl get deployment and it is saying now it has three pods and all of them are in ready state. So this is how you can scale and make use of imperative commands. So this is it for this video, but I'm going to create more videos in which I will have the exact scenarios which I faced during the exam. So that will be super helpful for you. This was just an introductory video to get started with imperative commands and type of command that you should follow in the exam. I will come up with more detailed scenarios and the real questions that I faced in the exam which you can practice and that will make sure that you clear the exam. So this is all for this video. Stay tuned, subscribe the channel, stay updated the upcoming videos. Thank you.